Hello, friends. Welcome or welcome back to Shadow Play Tarot. Friends, thank you so much for joining me here today. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Make yourselves at home. And if you are returning, well, as always, friends, I'm so appreciative. Um, welcome back. Thank you for spending more of your time with me. So if you've been watching our readings for a while, um, you know this is kind of different for us. Today I'm going to do just a short little channeled message as to what you need to hear. Whenever you come across this reading, this is when you're meant to hear this message. So this might reach a smaller number of people, a larger number of people. We'll see what comes, what ends up happening. But bottom line is, if you stumble across this, then this message is meant for you. Today, I'm going to go very light on the tarot. I'll only be pulling a couple cards. I'll mainly be doing oracle cards, and then I will also be doing charms to channel your reading. All right, let's get started, friends. Let me take a moment to connect. Thank you, Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guides for allowing me to channel these messages for the collective. Spirit, it's my intention to deliver messages to the collective that they most need to hear. That will be for their highest good, Spirit. Only you know who's going to come across this video and what they need to hear, Spirit. Ask for messages for my collective. What can we tell the collective spirit today? What are we going to be talking about? All right. Anything else? Nope. Let's sort these out, my friends. I feel like a lot of you are being challenged with... Um, I don't want to say being challenged with a new journey because that's not necessarily the um, challenge. I think the challenge is getting yourself to a place where you truly believe and believe in the steps that you're taking. A lot of you are second guessing yourselves. A lot of you are possibly constantly asking yourselves, am I doing the right thing? Is there something else I could be doing? I keep hearing, did I do the right thing? Am I doing the right thing? And the answer is, if you're doing the thing and you're walking the path and it feels right, stop questioning it. If when you do something, you notice something else lines up for you, it's okay to question, you know, normal things. If there's a contract, if there's something like that involved, I'm not saying don't question that. I'm just saying on a grander scale of questioning the universe, questioning yourself. A lot of you are in the middle of conjuring up a new life in some way, whether this is a shift in career, a goal you have for your home or for a move, maybe even a future you want for your family. We need to have a lot of self-confidence and self-love in this situation. You're being encouraged to pull the trigger on the things that bring you excitement. Look what this says. Keep at it. Keep at it, collective. We have don't be fake. Some of you could be hiding how you truly feel. Some of you could have people around you that are not helping it when it comes to you second-guessing yourself. People that might say they mean well, but they leave you in an energy that makes you feel drained. We have messages here about bring, being sweet to yourself and enjoying, enjoying your time, um, whatever that means to you. Enjoying your time. Enjoy your summer. Enjoy being outside. Enjoy snacks for some of you. Some of you might be really into spas or hot tubs, taking baths. You're being encouraged to do that. Nurture yourself. They want you to pamper yourself. Take care of yourself. Some of you are afraid of how you'll look to the outside world. Some of you are afraid of what other people might say or think. There could be someone wearing a mask. Again, I think you'll feel it. Or if you start to ask yourself who's around you and what kind of encouragement. Are they encouraging in, an, in a real way that makes you feel energized? Or do sometimes their energy or things they have to say kind of leave you, again, second guessing? 
It's okay. It's okay to distance yourself from certain energies. Spirit is saying, again, there's have fun, let loose. There's a real message here about let loose. You might be a little serious. Lean into your friends. Those of you that have a tight squad, they're showing up. You do have a squad. With this death card that we, this anytime it comes out in this size, I'm like, oh yeah, there's an ending. Uh, there's an ending that wants to be addressed. So there is an ending in your situation. Something maybe you have to let go of, maybe an old part of yourself, a job, person, relationship, way of thinking. It's time to bring it to a close because it's done serving you. You might spend a lot of time at nighttime thinking about this. But there's life to give here. I'm seeing birth. I'm um, also spring. Something about the springtime. March for some of you. I don't know why that came through. Channeling is very interesting. <laughs> um, all right, my friends. Thank you, Spirit, for those messages. Spirit, can we get a couple of tarot cards, please? Messages for my collective spirit. Timeless messages. What do they most need to hear? What can we tell them, Spirit? Let me move this over. The collective, please, Spirit. There might be a weight involved. You might be keeping your eye on something. Two more, please. Yeah, there's um, someone here might be being fake, okay? I don't know if it's towards you or if you're hiding how you feel. But I also see you getting over something. There's a situation here. This ending, it's almost like it can't happen for some reason. There's either a delay or there's a um, loose ends that need to be wrapped up. And we might be hiding how we truly feel about this ending. We might be showing the world, no, I'm good, but you're actually not good. You might still be, you know, dealing with something. We have surrender. Faith. One more, please, Spirit. And confidence. Oh, my gosh. I love these messages for you. Friends, please protect your energy. If someone is draining you, I can't say that enough. If you feel tired after talking to someone or hanging out with them, that might be someone that um, you may need to take a break from. I feel like you need, you need, your, you need your strength. Spirit is asking you to surrender to the circumstances. There's a time frame here. There's something about time and waiting. Have faith. Everything is going to work out. Have faith in the plan. I think when I was channeling, I even said, some of you keep questioning, am I doing the right thing? Have faith and have confidence. That's why we're talking about the spa and the self-care over here. Spirit wants you to enjoy where you're at where you're at in your life, even if you're physically not where you want to be at, be confident. You got this. All right, let's do some oracle cards. Thank you, Spirit. What else can we tell my collective, please? What else can we tell the collective? What do they need to hear? I just literally, that was flipped over. Chill out. Chill out, collective. <laughs> Have faith. Surrender. Chilling out is surrendering. We have cut through to find clarity. There might be people around you. Like I said, I'm getting the feeling here that something is influenced or affected by what we're hearing others say or talk about or their perception. Last card. It's an enigma. It's energy. It's constantly changing. What you're feeling right now, it's not forever. It's not forever. If you're feeling discomfort, if you're feeling self-doubt, if you're feeling, you know, lack of faith at times, it's an enigma. It's, it's going to change. It's, it's forever evolving. All right, my collective. 
that's what I have for you today. That was fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed your messages. I hope they were helpful. And you'll have to let me know if you like this format. Um, drop me a comment and I will do these regularly. Take care of yourselves, my friends. I'm always wishing you the best and I'll catch you the next one. Thanks, guys.